these are absolute bangers. Welcome back thriftaholics. If you're new around here, we're Brad and Jazz and we buy and resell from places like op shops, garage sales, auctions, and then we resell those items that we find on eBay. This week we head to Savers and we pick up some absolute bangers and make sure you stick around right to the end because I'll show you this pair of shoes that you definitely need to be looking out for when you're in thrift stores because they can be worth hundreds of dollars. Let's get straight into it. First up, we went to TTP, which is our closest savers. And as soon as I walk in, I usually go through sort of the books, the DVDs and cassettes and stuff like that. I didn't find anything there. So straight over to the shoes. And the first thing that we found were this pair of Doc Martens. Now these were like the higher cut sort of boots. And I think that's why they were still left there. They didn't have a lot of signs of Doc Martens. It was only because I saw that little bit on the bottom, that little yellow sort of cross that I knew that they were Doc Martens. Now they were priced at $25.99, but based on comps, I went ahead and picked these up. They do need a little bit of a cleanup. You can see on the sole there that there is some dirt and gunk caught up in there. But I think once we clean them up, we'll definitely get that around that $100 mark. So definitely happy to grab those. The next couple of items were these pair of Inov, I think it is called, X Talons. Now there was two pairs here. There was like a black and blue pair and a orange pair. I picked these up for $13.99 each. They're in pretty good condition. The soles didn't even look like they've been worn, which is great. And they should flip into $80. Now these are sort of like an ultra sort of hiking sort of crossover running shoe. Um, so they do have that strong grip pattern, which really helps them. And they are quite popular. Now we don't see them a lot, but when we do pick them up, they usually do sell reasonably quickly. So keep your eye out for those when you're out in the thrift store. Okay, the next item was a lesson in restraint. And you guys let me know if you were to pick this up or not. It was these pair of tracks rock climbers climbing shoes. Now, rock climbing shoes have been going pretty well for us when we have picked them up. These are $21.99 and comps were sort of looking between 50 and 60, but I don't think they're going to sell super quick for us and the return on investment on that is probably not really worth it. So let me know in the comments below if you would have picked that item up or not. Now this next item I definitely picked up. These were a pair of North Face leather boots. Now I couldn't find exact comps on this exact model, but for 25 bucks, I'm pretty sure I can turn this into about 80 to 100. I didn't get a lot of footage in the store, so I'll give you a little bit of closer look. You can kind of see these are in very good condition. They almost look unworn. So I reckon we should get 80 to 100 on those pretty easily, and I'm pretty confident we'll get closer to 100 mark. So let us know if you would have picked up these pair of North Face. Usually you see the more sort of hiking shoe style, but yeah, I'm very happy to pick up a pair of leather North Face for 25 bucks. Okay, a nice start at Savers number one, but we're very lucky to have another Savers not too far away. So we head there and this is what we found. This next item is kind of a little bit of a gamble. It's this Adidas, it's kind of like a, a basic windbreaker, but it's had the whole Hong Kong football or soccer uh, logo put onto it. Um, so I'm presuming it was made for the team uh, when they're traveling and stuff, brand new with tags. So I picked this up for 19.49 and there are no comps. I can't find any comps that match this up, but I'm gonna shoot for about 80. So that one is a bit of a gamble. Let me know if you were to pick that up, just something different to see in the thrift store. We don't really see that stuff often. And when there are sort of those items that you can't really comp, you can kind of create your own market as long as it's a good brand and it's something desirable. And I thought this was worth the pick up. Here's a brand that you guys absolutely need to be keeping an eye out for. It is Carhartt. This brand is flying at the moment. And even these basic polos, now these were new with tags. They did cost me $13.99 each, but I reckon I can flip these pretty quickly for around the $50 mark. There's some listings sort of, you know, medium quality between that 40 and 50. 50 marks. So I'm going to shoot for the high end of that. Try and get 50, same size. So they might even go to the same buyer, which will save me a little bit of post. Absolutely love Carhartt. And if you find any of their jeans or pants or jackets, snap them up because they will sell super quick. Next up was this item that I'm not really sure if I'm going to flip or if I'm going to keep. But for $4.99, I'm going to picking this up every day of the week. Is this Adelaide Crows 1998 Premiership Polo. Now, sell through on these can be a little bit slow because they're not super collectible like a lot of the jerseys from that era, but they do tick over. So I think we should get 50 out of that if it doesn't end up in my personal collection. Now, this was probably the find of the day and I have Jazzy to thank for this one. What do you got there? Joseph Ribkoff pants. I've never seen pants. Only $8.99, but fake pockets. Ooh. Why? She ended up paying $8.99 for those. And based on comps, mostly cars, they look like we should be able to sell them for $59. I've never actually seen Joseph Ripkoff pants. We've sold some dresses and some tops before, 
But finding pants at Savers for $8.99, we're gonna pick them up every single day. You guys know that we love to pick up hiking shoes, especially if they have a Vibram sole. And these pair of Merrell's Chameleons, and they were the Gore-Tex, which definitely helps them. They were only $10.49, and they should go to sell for at least 60 bucks. I think they'll probably go for a bit more because they are in very good condition, but we'll be conservative and say 60 bucks. So make sure you're looking out for that Vibram sole. All right, we're almost there now. We have two more pickups to show you. We did pick up probably six or seven other things as well. Got a vintage RM Williams button up for $11.99. Another one of those Hong Kong jerseys, but this one's Deodora and it has a pretty cool logo on the back of Carlsberg, $14.49. Brand new with tags SMS Santini for $9.49. A nice Kasubi jacket, denim for $11.99. Nice little back hit. And a nice pair of rollers for $8.99 pair of Skechers Shape Ups. Now, we usually don't pick up Shape Ups, but these ones were brand new with the tags. So we definitely grabbed them. They were 21 bucks, but I'm pretty confident we should sell them for upwards of 80. So I put comps down at $89, and I think we might even push over 100. So pretty happy to pick them up for 21 bucks. Make sure you check with these types of shoes that the bottom sole isn't like peeling or breaking, because a lot of these and the MBTs tend to break up pretty quickly because the foam composite breaks down. So check that over when you're looking for shoes. The other thing that you should be aware of when looking at shoes is making sure that the sole isn't cracking. So I actually found this pair of Merrells when I was at Savers, and I just did the quick flex test and you can tell by the sole that it's starting to crack, which means the shoe's gonna break down very shortly. So that was another leave from this trip. All right, we've made it to the last pair of shoes and you guys need to be looking out for this because these are absolute bangers. Now I'm being very conservative on my pricing here, but I think this shoe will sell for at least 70 to 80 bucks, if not way higher. And it is this pair of Asics Kinzai. So I know you guys saw us pick up the other week a pair of Sendai and I was talking about Kinzai and this is probably the first pair I've actually found in a thrift store for quite a while. Now I did pay $16.99 for this, but as I said, I think we're really gonna get 70, 80, maybe even a lot more. There are some comps on these for stupid money, upwards of a couple hundred bucks. Not in this colorway, in some other color colorways, but Kinzai will sell very quickly. The Sendai that we had the other week sold in like two days. Super quick sale on this one, our six women Joe Sendai 2s. Now I picked these up for Savers on Black like, Friday and it's now Sunday. So they sold within a day because we only listed them yesterday. Wow. So keep your eye out for Asics Kinzai and Sendai. The way you can tell these apart from your normal sort of Asics shoes is these big gel pockets at the back. Usually with like Kayanos and stuff, they'll be a little bit more enclosed, but these really stand out and they sell for great money. So keep your eye out for Asics Kinzai and Sendai when you're in a thrift store. Awesome money being made in these. So thank you for joining us for this thrift ride along. I hope you've enjoyed this style of video. Let us know in the comments what you think the best find of the day was, and we will see you next time on Tozzy Thrifters. Bye for now.